All right, well, we have seen a lot of rain today, Kanisha, which has prompted the flood watch to be issued for most of us here in the Tennessee Valley. But uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I saw quite some compelling pictures. Uh, yes, and, County. and videos. It yes. was crazy in Ardmore. I think Ardmore uh, did catch most of the the damage from Correct. the flash flooding today. Yeah. So let's go ahead and jump out to the graphics to show you guys what the flood watch is currently looking like. It does include all of the Tennessee Valley. This will last until 7 o'clock tomorrow. Areas in Lime Green, that's a flood warning that will last until early, early Sunday morning. So we've seen quite a bit of rainfall in certain locations. Notice Athens, 3 inches. Decatur, just shy of 4 inches within the past 12 hours. It does look like bulk of the rain was sent centralized over the Tennessee Valley. Pit Boy Viper right now just a few lingering light rain showers. Other than that, we're dry for the time being. That's going to change heading into tomorrow. Hour by hour for the remainder of the overnight. Temperatures look to be staying in the lower 70s. And notice that you have the rain icon for pretty much the remainder of the overnight tonight. For tomorrow, we'll start the day off in the lower 70s. Still going to see some rain in the forecast. Things will start to turn more widespread heading into the afternoon. It looks like we're going to be staying in the upper 70s for our high temperature tomorrow. A few thunderstorms possible in the afternoon as well. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Here's 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. Still going to be seeing rain and it looks to turn more widespread by the time we get into the late morning hour. Notice these darker reds that could indicate some heavier precipitation at times. By the time we head into the afternoon, still going to be seeing rain. I do feel uh, like a broken record talking about all of this rain, but we will catch a break in it eventually late Sunday night. Uh, it's not going to be a complete washout. Like I said, some of us will catch breaks in the rain. Uh, we're not going to really be seeing any sunshine, though. Clouds just going to continue to blanket us through Monday, portions of Monday. Notice this is Monday at 11 a.m., so going to be seeing rain. Rain chances will start to taper off, though, heading into the middle of next week and by Thursday it does look like we will be completely dry but since we're going to be seeing more rain it looks like we could see anywhere from one to four and a half more inches of rainfall between now and Wednesday. We've got a cold front that's going to be coming though and behind that cold front much drier and fall like air. Check out these future temperatures. This is Thursday morning. Some of us could be hanging out in the upper 40s while the rest of us hang out in the lower 50s. Keep in mind Wednesday is a officially the first day of fall. Seven day forecast looks like this 78 once again for the high temperature tomorrow. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. That's pretty much going to be the story heading into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Things will start to taper off a little bit, but we will keep rain in the forecast Wednesday. First official day of fall by Thursday. We're going to start to dry out, see some sunshine, more fall like temperatures since it will uh, be officially fall and it looks like we'll stay dry heading into next weekend. Now let's check in with Naomi and we're going to see what's coming up in sports.